Now check this out. This was me yesterday paddle boarding on Lady Bird Lake for the very first time. Just trying to keep up with Austin FC's Danny Pereira. It's part of our new series outside the box with Austin FC. Hi everyone, I'm Tyler Feldman here at the Texas Rowing Center on beautiful Lady Bird Lake. We're out here because we've got a segment outside the box with Austin FC. It's all about learning the players what they're like off the field and how fitting that our first episode involves the former first overall pick in the 2021 MLS Super Draft, Danny Pereira, midfielder for Austin FC. Danny, how does coming out here provide some balance for the life of a professional soccer player? We train in the mornings and after training, you just wanna maybe go home, do nothing. So maybe come here instead of going home, relax, take some sun, hang out with a couple of my teammates that always are down to come. So uh, yeah, it's just a little, a little different. How has water always been a part of your life growing up in Venezuela? I used to leave, uh, live near the beach. Uh, I also had an apartment at the beach. So, uh, I mean, it's always been in my, in my, in my veins, if I, you could say that. So, uh, I love coming out here and just maybe getting in the water, catching sun, hanging out. You and your family emigrated from Venezuela to the United States. What was that process like and how did that help shape you as the man you are today? Uh, it was a tough process, but uh, my parents told me to trust that they were doing it for good reasons, and I did. It was all about change and adapting. Much like me on this paddleboard. I'm spinning around. <laughs> okay, all right. Danny, a pro, clearly. Me, not so much. Hold on, I'm spinning. <laughs> Favorite place to eat in Austin? Red Ash, it's impossible to get a reservation. You're about to be stuck on a desert island. Which three artists are you taking to that desert island? <laughs> uh, Drake, Lil Baby, and Carol G. Pereira is just 21. He's evolving on the field as a player and off the field as a person. Where do you think you've seen the most growth? I think both sides, out, uh, inside of soccer and outside of soccer. I'm a little more mature, you could say that. Not that I didn't take it serious in college, but uh, it's more like it's a job. Like college was just like school, soccer, you know, but here's your job, so you gotta, your body's your job, so you gotta take care of it. Do you think that's helped the team have such a great start this season? I hope so. I mean, I don't, I, I'm not saying it's just me, but you know, if, if we all do our parts, then we all should be good.